Matthew chapter 14, verse 19. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass, and taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and said a blessing. Then he broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds. This miracle is one which is very well known. And so we need not go through the details of the miracle. But I noticed something here. When the disciples brought to Jesus the lunch of this little lad, five loaves and two fish, he took it and the first thing he did was to bless it. Having blessed it, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, go and feed them. Now there were probably about 15,000 persons there. There were 5,000 men, not counting women and children. They were made to sit down in fifties and the disciples were to go and feed them. To feed them, Jesus blessed the loaves and fish, broke them and gave to the disciples. I realize that for the people to be fed, for the people to be blessed, the loaves and fish had to be broken. There were not even enough to give to all 12 disciples until they were broken. They could not provide the miracle until they were broken. The hungry could not be fed and satisfied until they were broken. Whilst they were in their whole state, they were inadequate. Inadequate for the need that was to be met. So I look and I realize there is a pattern for the blessing. Blessed, broken, given. Jesus, we see it happening with Jesus. So when he was baptized by John the Baptist, and he came up out of the water. We see the blessing when the heavens were opened. The, the dove came down. The spirit like a dove came and rest upon him. And the voice from heaven said, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Blessing. And then we saw him broken. As he was beaten and scourged and crucified. So that he could be given. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It was only after Jesus was broken that we were able to be blessed and delivered and saved by him. It is by his very stripes, the cuts, the wounds on his back, the breaking of his skin that we are healed. And so it is with us. Sometimes we despise the breaking. We get disturbed by the breaking. But until we are broken, we cannot truly be given. We cannot truly be a blessing. And that's why the scripture says, you know, we have not a high priest who cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities because he was tested in all manners like we are. He looked on Simon Peter and he said, Simon, the devil wants to sift you like wheat. But I pray for you, not that you miss the testing and the trouble. I pray for you that your faith fails not. And when you are converted, strengthen the brethren. We have very little use to people who are suffering and hurting and lacking until we 
have been broken. Until we know what it feels like to be broken. Until we know for a fact that God is a healer and a deliverer because we have been there. There is a blessing in being broken. So that prophecy you received, he just blessed you. So that he could break you to make you relevant. How can you serve others from your brokenness? Let's talk about it. Comment. And of course, please like, share, and also subscribe. Let us continue talking about this. Broken to be a blessing.